do the stuff you want to do, all right? The only one holding you back is you. I could have been skateboarding this whole time. I could have made, been making YouTube videos, but I never did, you know? Get out there, do the stuff you love doing, because you never know when it might be too late, you know? In this case, it's not too late. And I'm gonna fucking enjoy the shit out of this thing. Let's go. So, I've always wanted to skateboard, but I've always been... I used to skateboard when I was younger, but... But, uh... I used to skateboard when I was younger, but never got to actually learning any tricks. It's something I always liked and liked watching. Yeah, recently, um, I just bought a skateboard yesterday with my day off on Sunday. Bought this right here. Skate shop downtown. I've been fucking around on it for the past couple of days, and it is fun as fuck. I literally forgot how much fun this was, but it's a nice, it's a nice little switch from skipping because skipping was getting boring as fuck. Plus the skipping rope's also busted, like completely chewed up. It's not even, you can't even use that thing properly anymore. It's getting stuck to your pants when you're skipping, like, it's not. But, yeah. Uh, gotta take it up skateboarding, so I'm gonna sit you guys right down here and hopefully you don't watch me break my leg. Still currently trying to learn how to ollie. Don't be fooled. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. You guys see me doing it now, but it's tough as fuck to land consistently. So that's my goal. Just to land it a bunch of times, get normal. Because then I will fuck around. And then uh Trawling off something, you know. Oh, fuck. What's good, guys? Um, welcome back. So, uh, this week what I'm going to show you guys is how to drill a screw into the piece of drywall. So, as you can see here, I learned from myself and from my father. So, you can see here, the screw is holding up the drywall. See that? It didn't rip. So, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what it would be like if the screw went too deep into the drywall. Obviously, these, these are screwed on the studs. You can see that right here. Studs come down the wall, right, every 16 inches. But, so let's say this one right here, okay? But did it pretty much shit. So if you go like this, you can tell it's too deep because of, let me see if I can. There you go. You can, you can tell it's too deep because there's a screw rip through the paper. Where opposed to, let's say, this one right over here below it, it's pushing the paper back and not holding it. If you run your finger over the, the screw, it should feel flush. Not flush, but a little bit lower in. And yeah, that's how you put the sheet up. You put the screw four four to five on each sheet, see there, and yeah, that's it. Did the little 
little pump and go over here. So you can see, uh, dug this all out, redid all these lines, toilets going over there. This one's for the shower. Got the little vent in the back too, running along the back wall. <laughs> Fuck me, man. What's good guys? Um, just got back from a long day at work. Um, gonna set up right now, gonna start editing my video. Gotta work on some, I do a lot of research on crypto actually. I've been getting super into crypto in the past, in the past week and a half. Uh, not the past week and a half, maybe two weeks, three weeks. It's a lot of security things, to be honest with you. And I have shitty luck with computers. Every single computer I've had has either broken or gotten a virus or something like that. So you already know, I'm gonna fucking scan this computer like no tomorrow. I'll pay the fucking extra money just for the the malware protection and everything. Like, I am not getting hacked, I'm not losing my money. But yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of, I've been doing a lot of work on crypto and just, uh, at the end of the day, it's just one more asset for me to invest in, you know? Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. I learned a lot, learned a lot. But uh, I'm curious, you guys invested in crypto? You guys doing any work in crypto as well? Yeah, shoot me something down in the comments. Let me know. Yeah, it's a lot of fucking work. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a lot of work. Man, if you guys told me that I was going to be spending my days skateboarding and making YouTube videos, um, I wouldn't have believed you. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I'm so fucking happy, man. I'm just so happy, and I feel like a kid again. I feel like, holy shit. I'm working out twice a day. I'm skateboarding, making YouTube videos. Um, even working construction, like, that's so crazy to me. I don't know how my life just did, like, I complete 180, but it somehow did. And we here now. But yeah, so fucking happy. I can't even express it enough. Doesn't look like it right now, but that's because it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm fucking dead. So dead. <sighs> But yeah, honestly, you know, it's just maybe like a reminder to just get out there and do some stuff. Do the stuff that you, do the stuff you want to do, right? The only one holding you back is you. I could have been skateboarding this whole time. I could have been making YouTube videos, but I never did, you know? Get out there, do the stuff you love doing because you never know when it might be too late, you know? In this case, it's not too late. And I'm gonna fucking enjoy the shit out of this thing. Let's go. Not sure when I became one of these mans, bro. That whole rides with one of these on his belt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the famous people do it nowadays, you know. It's in style. Everybody does it. All right? good guys and my nose ring is always out man my nose piercing sorry just finished up my lunch here in the car <sighs> uh yeah uh, it's been a crazy day honestly it's been super hectic and it's just been reminding me a lot of how important it is to have like crisis management you know like properly like structure yourself in a way that when things go south that you don't just turn to, out of desperation and start going all around, you know, like start losing your mind and stuff like that. Like 
if things are going out of control, you got to keep calm. You got to keep your cool. You can't lose your head, you know. Second you lose your head is when you start making impulsive decisions. You start making the wrong decisions. The decisions that are actually going to bring you further from your goal instead of closer to your goal. I'm Full <laughs> <laughs> send, bud. What is good guys? You already know the deal. Um, thank you for watching another one of my videos. Comment, like, subscribe. Let's go. Till next time. Peace.